In this guide, we're going to show you how to attach a 30 watt solar panel to a battery with a charge controller. So that's the panel, and this little box here is the charge controller. And the charge controller will regulate the electricity from the solar panel to go into the battery. And a solar panel will normally give out a voltage of, of between around 18 to 22 volts, but to charge the battery, we need around 14 to 15 volts. So if the solar panel is connected directly into the battery, um, there is a risk that the battery could overheat or it will deteriorate the life of the battery. In this application example, we're going to show some solar panel lighting. So we'll collect a small LED light to the battery. Uh, but first, I'm just going to test the voltage output from the solar panel just to confirm everything's working okay. So the, the, the voltage meter is set to measure DC voltage and that was showing about 22 volts output so that's okay for this type of panel. Now I'm going to first connect the charge controller to the load. There's a connection order on a charge controller where you should first connect up the load in this instant which is the light followed by the battery and then last connect up the solar panel and the reason for that is so the electricity from the solar panel has got somewhere to go after it goes through the charge controller so here to connect uh, other lighting up first so on this one we've got blue is the negative and brown is the positive in this type of cabling the earth to the lighting is not required in this instance next we're going to connect the charge control up to the battery so we have a, a two meter cable here with crocodile clips on the end of it so the red goes to the positive on the charge controller, black goes to the negative on the charge controller. Black crocodile click to the negative side of the battery and the red crocodile click to the positive side of the battery. Now here the, the light has come on straight away because the battery the light can be powered directly off the battery. But on this charge controller there's a switch that can turn the load on and off. Now we can connect the solar panel up to the charge controller. So obviously the solar panel is going to constantly be replenishing the battery with power during the daytime. And if your battery storage is for lighting, then you use the power from the battery at night. So here I'm connecting the solar panel to the battery. So we've got a red cable from the solar panel connects to the positive on the charge controller and a black to the negative on the charge controller. So now that all the wires are connected up, there's a green light flashing on the charge controller, which is saying that there is a solar panel input. There's also a light lit up and a battery indicator in the middle. And here, this light is lit up saying that the battery is already fully charged. There's another light for partly discharged and, and then a discharge light. Now this charge control is fully connected. The solar panel will continuously keep topping up the charge in the battery. So this is an ideal situation for lighting where the battery will store the power at night. The lighting to be used once the sun has gone down. This particular charge controller also has a USB output on it. So you can connect up a USB lead. On this particular charge controller, you need to turn on the load switch, and it will then start charging a phone or an iPad. So on this phone, there you can see the, uh, the phone is lit up, indicating it's charged, and it's got a charging symbol at the top. 